गुरुजी बोले कि यह संसार में संपूर्ण विश्व में ये गुरुओं की वंशा होती रहे जो कि जो पुष्प बारिश पुष्प बलसम हमेशा के लिए चलता ही है इस श्रीमद भागवत में जो कि गुरु जी के आदेश से उन्होंने एक दिन संकल्प करा करके और समय मोहल आते निकाल करके बोले कि तुम लिखो मुझे लिख करके दिखाओ दो दिन में फिर दे करके बड़े प्रसन्न थे उसके पश्चात उन्होंने कहा कि ईश्वर अन्याय होना चाहिए आज तक संस्कृत से संस्कृत हुआ है संस्कृत का हिंदी या बंगला अनुवाद नहीं हुआ अन्याय नहीं हुआ हर एक शब्द का गुरु जी की बड़ी इच्छा है कि ईश्वर अन्याय लिखा जाए तो हमने कहा ऐसा हम प्रयास कर रहे हैं देखा है तो गुरु जी को प्रसन्न हो गया फिर लोगों ने पूछा कहा कि और तरीके से लिखा जाए गुरु जी बोले नहीं जो लिखा जा रहा है वही चीजें तो हमने लिखा है इसके पश्चात श्लोक का अनुवाद आया जो गुरु जी ने लिखा है गुरु जी के द्वारा पूर्ण श्लोक का अनुवाद किया गया पहले तीन चार अध्याय मैंने किया था वही आया इसके बाद संपूर्ण गुरु जी का ही अनुवाद है इसके पश्चात श्री लोकेश्वरा चक्रवर्ती ठाकुर जी की सार्थ दर्शी ने टीका है उस टीका पर अवानुवाद हिंदी में लिखा गया इसके पश्चात जबकि श्री भाव प्रकाश का वृत्ति नाम की एक विशेष व्याख्या दी गई है जिसमें श्री विश्वनाथ चक्रवर्ती ठाकुर श्री जी गोस्वामी के वैष्णव पुरुषों के आधार पर मेन रूप में वैष्णव दोषण के आधार पर श्री सनातन गोस्वामी जी के वृहद वैष्णव दोषण फिर हमारे जितने भी आचार्य बात हैं श्री रूप गोस्वामी श्री जीव गोस्वामी रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी रघुनाथ भट्ट गोस्वामी अच्छा फिर श्री जीव गोस्वामी जी के गोपाल चौक कवि गर्ज संहिता और विष्णु पुराण और आदि आदि और बहुत से पुराणों की कथाएं जहां जिस प्रसंग में गुरु स्वामियों ने टीका पर उद्धृत किया है उस प्रसंगों को खींच के लाया गया और इसमें सरल हिंदी में ही प्रकाश करने का प्रयास किया गया इसमें छब्बीस टीकाओं के आधार पर यानी श्री बल्लभाचार्य की सुबध ने टीका सिद्ध स्वामी पाद की भावार्थ ने टीका और श्री रामानंद संप्रदाय के वीर राघवाचार्य आदि आदि आचार्य वर्ग के उनके अभिमत इत्यादि प्रकाश किए गए हैं जो एक साथ में हिंदी में ही सभी आचार्यों का विचार एक भाषा में ही व्यक्त किया गया है इस प्रकार श्रीमद भागवत ग्रंथ प्रणयन किया जा रहा है गुरु जी ने आशीर्वाद दिया है बोले कि यह ग्रंथ संपूर्ण होना चाहिए जाने तो समस्त ग्रंथ अभी पूर्णता की ओर जा रहा है केवल तो समस्त ग्रंथ में आठ से नौ पार्ट होगा नौ किताबें आएंगे आठ से नौ हो जाएगा कम से कम आठ या अधिक करेंगे तो नौ हो जाएगा तो इस प्रकार अभी तक पचहत्तर अध्याय तक हमने लिख लिया और अवश्य लिखने का है इसके पश्चात गुरु जी का आदेश है ग्यारहवा स्कंद बारहवा स्कंद लिखने को उसके पश्चात पहले स्कंद से नौवा स्कंद गुरु जी ने कहा कि हम देखना चाहते हैं हम अपने सामने कि ये ग्रंथ भाजपा ग्रंथ प्रकाश हो और साथ ही मैं भी यह आशा करूंगा और मैं यही प्रार्थना करता हूँ जो कोई इंग्लिश में इसको लिखने का प्रयास करे और लिख करके जल्दी से जल्दी दें और सभी लोग इस विषय पर मंत्रणा कर लें कि कौन लिखे कौन कौन इसमें भाग लेंगे जो इस इंग्लिश में इसका लेखन चालू हो जाए और जल्दी से जल्दी निकले इसी प्रकार भागवत के अलावा जैसे वेदांत आ रहा है वेदांत ग्रंथ भी पेंटिंग में भक्ति दर्शन आदि आदि 
गौरी ग्रंथ का प्रकाशन करने के लिए गुरु जी ने आशीर्वाद दिया ये आशीर्वाद जो कि आप सभी से हम यही भी इच्छा मानते हैं ये आशीर्वाद हमें सफल हो हमारे अंदर जहाँ तक संभव है हिंदी में ये जो लिखा गया है श्री महाप्रकाश की आवृत्ति में हमारे इस ग्रंथों का कार्य करने वाले जितने भी जगह सभी लोग बड़े प्रसन्न भी और खुश हैं हम भी चाहेंगे पढ़ने वाले व्यक्ति भी सभी इस ग्रंथों से अवश्य लाभ उठाएंगे इसमें दो त्रुटि दो त्रुटि आदि जो कुछ भी सुझाव हो अवश्य हमें देते रहेंगे क्योंकि इतने विधि हैं जो कि हमें सोचने को बिठाए थे और उसके बीच में ये लिखा जा रहा है तो भी हम आशा करेंगे सभी पाठकों को अधिक से अधिक लाभ मिलेगा संसार में यह ग्रंथ ये अत्युत्तम ग्रंथ के रूप में भागवत जो पहली बार प्रकाशन हुआ है और इतने विचारों के साथ में तो इस प्रकार देखे गुरु जी साइन कर रहे हैं अरे गुरु जी मुझसे भी बहुत सी बातें कही आप लोगों ने देखा है गुरु जी का स्वास्थ्य पर भी हम लोग आशा करते हैं धीरे धीरे प्रगति हो रही है जो कि और आगे अच्छी प्रगति होगी और गुरु जी जो कि और भी अच्छे प्रकार से स्वास्थ्य लाभ करके लौटेंगे जो कि धीरे धीरे क्रमोन्नति हो रही है अभी हम सबसे पहले हमारे पूज्य नियम समस्त सन्यासी सन्यासी गणों को हम प्रणाम करते हैं समस्त वैष्णव या माताएं बहनों भाइयों सभी को मेरा प्रणाम निवेदन है आज के आज के तथा का कार्य कर अभी हम सभी वैष्णवों से निवेदन करें वे लोग कुछ पालन करें
Swami Sisimar Bhaktivedan Narayan Goswami Maharaj. Also, our Shisha Gurus, the Jilil of Krishna Bhaktivedan Bhaktivedan Goswami Maharaj, Sisimar Bhaktivedan Chavikram Goswami Maharaj, Sisimar Bhaktivedan Bhaktivedan Goswami Maharaj. Also, all Chitali Sanyasis, Brahmacharigam, Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis, please accept my pronouns. So, which is about Sarabhati Upadhyaya Sri Tita Maharaj has wanted us trying to discuss something of Achintya Veda Veda Thakva. Actually, mine had already prepared something on Ramalata Roy Sarabhati. But this is Achintya. Sometimes it's changing without warning. So, we know that of course, there are about four Vaishnav Sampradayas. And all four Vaishnav Sampradayas, Sri Sananda, Ruta Vaishnav, Chitpavana. These four Sampradayas, <coughs> in Kali Yuga, have each had their main Acharya. See, see Vishnu Swami, he is the Acharya of. Sri Vishnu Swami is the Charis Guru Sampradaya. The Chattusna Sampradaya is represented by Siddhimbarka, Siddhimbarka Charya. Sri Lakshmi Sampradaya is represented by Sri Ramanuja Charya Pad. And the Sampradaya of Chattumok Anikuru Brahma is represented by Sri Madhva Charya. So, all these four Vaishnava Sampradaya. They are all Sakun Vadis. They accept, they accept the eternality of Bhagavan's names, forms, qualities, and pastimes. So if you talk about the Vinod in these Vaishnavas, you have to know that there is no major difference between these four. Only there is some Vishishta, some Stash, speciality. And all Vaishnavas and Vinodas have completely uprooted the Kevin Vaitabha philosophy of seeing Sankara Charity. There's still amongst these four, there's still amongst these four, one is prominent. Yes, Sankara Charity. 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 Yes, Sankara in the branch coming from Chitanya Mahaprabhu that is even not present in the Sri Mata Sampra. So in the beginning of Kartik, remember, six, seven days we discussed the, this Sampradayak Dharma, what is the speciality of all four Sampradayas. But if we go, actually the root chari of all four Sampradayas is Chitanya Mahaprabhu. If you read, because without the blessings of Chitanya Mahaprabhu, no Sampradaya can do anything. Therefore, Sri Thakur Bhaktivinoda in his Sri Nambhik Dhamma Mahathya, he described all four Sampradayas, all the Acharyas of the four Sampradayas, all came to Nambhik. And Chitanya Mahaprabhu even empowered them to present their unique presentations. And what to speak of the four, sam four Sampradayas, even Sankichari went there and had Dasha of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, without being empowered by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, even Sri Sankichari could not have done what he has done. They want Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, what is Sankar Chara? Hey, don't preach in Nambhik Dham and don't write any commentary on the Bible. Therefore, Sankar Chara, he wrote so many commentaries on, commentaries on the Gita, on the Upanishads, but he never touched it. Shiva Bhagavatam, because every verse of Shiva Bhagavatam, please smile back in the face from beginning to the end. Dharma Prakti Koyte Vatraparamani Marat Saranam Satam Vedya Vatma Devasati Gadam Tapat Prayat Mudam. In the very second verse of the Bhagavatam, the Asajan condemns those who follow four types of child dharma, cheating religion, Koyte of Dharma, Dharma, Art and Karma and Moksha. Deva Sarvachari also did so much being empowered by Mahamur, but he, therefore the four Sarvachari also came. All had Darshan of Mahabhu and all desired to perform one point of budget of Chaitanya Mahabhu. But Chaitanya Mahabhu ordered all four Sampradaya Acharyas, keep my tongue concealed, worship in your heart, 
but prevent your own, but present your own unique philosophy. But honestly, I could have also summarized as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, there's no doubt about it, because he is the one for one. Then what any other child has written, whether it may be Vyas, whether it may be Sukhita, all has been empowered by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and no one else. So, speciality of our Sambhada is we take Srimad Bhagavatam Pramadam Amandra, Prem Pramadam. Especially of our Sambhada, we give a special prominence there to Srimad Bhagavatam. Because they get Vaishnava and Priya. Because the Vaishnava, the Bhagavatam is very dear to the Vaishnavas, especially the Gauri Vaishnavas. Then we look in Srimad Bhagavatam, you'll find there's nothing else there except the Chinya Veda Veda because there it describes nothing else but the glories of Sri Radha and Krishna. <laughs> Therefore, if we look in the Bhagavatam, there is nothing else but there is a discussion of Rastatva, especially Visaya Lama and Asaya Lama. Visaya Lama is Rasi Chega, Sri Krishna, who is the center or the goal or the enjoyer of all twelve Ras. Asana Prinam. Narubaram Sriyam Smaro Martima. In the 10th canto of Sukhita, the Goswami describes, Krishna is Rasi Shaita because he takes the five primary rats, some of the dust, some of the sun, and Madhu, and also he takes the seven secondary rats. They were, even Sriyarayan, but to speak of any other Bhagavata, but cannot be Rasi Shaita to the degree that Sri Krishna is Rasi Shaita. They were Krishna is Rasu. But without Baal, you cannot taste the Ras. Therefore, each devotee, according to their Baal, they have the experience of the Ras of Sri Krishna. Therefore, Sri Krishna is Rasaru, he is Rasi Shekha, the object of Baal. And who is the complete shelter of all type of Baal? That is Malananka Mahabhar Mahishi Mani Radhika Vasa. Therefore, she might be right in herself because she's the complete embodiment of Baal, then she has the complete first tasting of Ras. Therefore, the question comes, even though the marker presented this philosophy of Swabali Veda Veda, but still that is not a complete description. Madhvacharya so much emphasized the five Veda, the difference. But also you look at with not just differences given, also so many places the oneness of Bhagavan and his potencies are also given. Then when Vishnu Swami had his Sudha, Sudha Dwayne, his purified oneness, Madhvacharya had his Sudha Dwayne, Sudha Dwayne, his pure, his pure dualism. But then the confusion becomes good, no matter how much you show the difference between Bhagavan and his potencies, in so many places in the Shrutis, you'll find the one that's given between Bhagavan and his poetry. Then when the Bhagavad's presentation of Swabhavi Veda Veda, this is not complete, because how much is Veda and how much is a Veda? A natural, that is not a complete definition. Is it 10% Abed and 90% Abed? Is it 50% Veda, 50% Abed? This is Achintya. Then by how much is Veda and how much is Abed, this is Achintya, therefore Mount Prasad. Achintya Kaurav Bhagavad, Nanda, Kaurav Yoga. What is inconceivable, we cannot understand by the material intelligence. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave Achintya Veda Veda. Therefore, if you look for the tantric, tantric, the explanation according to Tantra, then you'll find everything is perfectly reconciled in the Siddhanta of Veda Veda Siddhanta. Therefore, Jiva Goswami gave the example, just like the sun, the mandal of the sun and the rays of the sun and the shadow of the sun, these are all no different from the sun. The sun is compared to the Swayabhava and Krishna. The mandal is his Vaibha, his avatar. Six types of avatar, these are like the mandal, emanating from the sun, planet Sri Krishna. The jiva is like the jiva, the rays coming from the sun. And the shadow also depends upon the sun for his existence. Therefore, all these four chakras also are okay. Therefore, whatever there may be incompleteness in understanding the fourth sampradaya is taking them out of combined in one perfect siddhanta. That is achieved. 
Therefore, you know, it's not for dying. You see, we always worship Sri Radha and Krishna, but always the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is also there. Why? You know, Parun Guru there, he described in his writing, you know, Tapastik of this very deep and wonderful Siddhanta of Swabha, oh, but Chitta made up in this. God and Krishna, Pranayam, Rikati, Nadini, Shakti, Asma, Ekapana, Mahuri, Vipura, Deha, Veda, Nathom, Chaitanya, Kyam, Pratamaduna, Tatvayam, Chaitanya, Kyam, Radha, Vipura, Svani, Nam, Nomi, Krishna, Sri, Sri, Dhamma, and this God, what is the top of Sri Radha and Krishna? Unless there is a difference, then you cannot taste brass. They would rather Krishna, even though that Paratakra is one. Eka Veva Paramam Tatvam Paramuriya Even though the absolute truth is not dual, I buy the other Paratakra still. To taste brass, it accepts two forms of Sirada and Sri Krishna. Therefore, in our home, we see an only Gorya. And Karen, we worship. When that, egg, that one Paratapa comes in two forms, we worship that in the form of Sivara Krishna. So when the difference is prominent, then that difference manifests in the worship of people who saw Sivara and Krishna. But also we know that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you cannot just worship the difference, you have to worship the non difference. So when the non difference of Radha Krishna manifests, that is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then we worship. Uh, even our Upasana, what to speak of Tapa, our Upasana is also a Chitya Vedavir. Mahaprabhu is a Veda Tapa and Radha Krishna a Veda Tapa. How both can be there simultaneously? That is a Chitya. Then what Mahaprabhu is going to explain is very nice. There are some devotees who only worship Radha Krishna. They only worship the difference. Therefore, the time of perfection, that soul achieves a form of Vrindavan and serves Radha Krishna. There are some devotees who only have preference for the pastimes of Goraka, a Veta. They were in the time of perfection, their soul takes a form and enters the pastimes of Goraka Mahaprabhu. But what do we do in the life of Rupa Goswami? We accept both Goraka Mahaprabhu and Radha Krishna. They were in the time of perfection, what does the soul do? It takes two forms and simultaneously worships both Goraka and Sri Radha Krishna. How is it possible? Again, the Shakti. <laughs> These very wonderful understandings of the Lord gave in Jayadam. If you see on the cover of Vishnu Bhagavatam, Sri Bhaktivedanta Swami, he uh, wrote on the front cover, half portion of Gauru Vrindavan is Gauranga Mahaprabhu dancing. <coughs> and even though Gauranga Mahaprabhu is a very tough, but still he takes separation. Sri Bhagavatam said, This is impossible. Because in Gauranga Mahaprabhu there is no separation. That is the combined form of Sri Radha and Krishna. But even though there is no separation between Gauranga, between Radha Krishna and the Pastimes of Gauranga, still Gauranga takes separation. So even though there is no difference, there is meaning, Mahaprabhu always takes the word of separation. So Ved, Aved, and the Pastimes of Radha Krishna, the opposite is there. Even though Radha Krishna are two forms, they always feel that they are one and meeting. Friends of Guru, we get a wonderful explanation of Radharani herself. When Sri Krishna came in disguise as a dead guy, then Sri Krishna himself was criticizing. Oh, Radha, Krishna is such a devotee, such a restless fellow. We saw how he tortured you in Vasila, and we felt your pain of separation. How you could love such a person as Krishna? Then Simhani Radhika said, no matter how many offenses Krishna makes, when I see him, I forget everything. In the same way, I should be angry with you because you are criticizing Mr. Krishna, but when I see you, all my anger goes away. I don't know why. Then Radharani herself explained. Some people think that I am one tapa and Krishna is another tapa, another person, but we are not two persons. We are Ekatma, we are one soul. Like a lotus flower with two flowers. One golden, one sham. Then we are not two tapas, we are one. Then the past and the Radha Krishna, even though they are two separate forms, they are always beating. How this is possible? Therefore, complete opposites. And how do you worship complete opposites? Vedanta Sutra of Yasa Dev wrote, Vilu Dharma Asa. That Sri Krishna, there is all impossibilities are reconciled with him. Therefore, 
Gauranga availed there with his tasting babe, and in Radha Krishna availed there with their tasting other. And what Srila Gauranga said that Tatra Gauranga Mahaprabhu was very, very deep, and his philosophy of Chitta Veda Ved Tatra is also very deep. Therefore, only the Gauri Vaishnavas we have this complete understanding of both Ved and a Ved between Shakti Mahaprabhu and Shakti. Then do we ask for Ved and his Shakti? Therefore, Krishna is Shaktiman and Radhika is Parashakti. How they are both Ved and Abed, only the Gauri Vaishnavas understand. And only Go 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 Gauri Vaishnavas understand by Tattva, by Upasana, and by worship also. But also in Rasvita, there is also Ved and Abed. See, Tattva Bhakkano wrote a very strange thing in the beginning of Jayadana. Actually, there is no difference between a great city and Prem city. And some of this, that is the amazing thing. We always preach against the Siddhanta of Sankaracharya when he preached a bad bar. No difference. But Taku Bhakti said there is no difference between a great city and Prem city. And very strangely, then with the explanation of that realization of Taku Bhakti is given in the Srimad Bhagavad. We know the Srimad Bhagavatam that when Sri Krishna disappeared from the Ras Vila, then how the Gopis became immersed in the madness of separation. That time the Gopis became so much absorbed in Sri Krishna that they became tadatvik with him. The Gopi one Gopi said, Who can we think over them? Another Gopi in the mood of Krishna, another one in the mood of Baba, who can I walk? Like in a mad elephant in a toxic elephant, toxic headed elephant. Another Gopi saying, look how I play the fruit. Look how I'm killing Putana. Look how I'm doing this, stealing Vata. So the Gopis became so much immersed in Krishna and separation, they felt a completeness, one, oneness with him. It could be at that time Sri Krishna was watching this pastime. Then Krishna was thinking, my Sri Shakti is not different from me. When Krishna saw the prayer of the Gopis, look, I lived to Govardhan. And Krishna was thinking, when I lived to Govardhan, I never felt the happiness that the Gopis know. Look, I lived to Govardhan. When Gopi was alert, look, I am playing the flute in the Sri Krishna book. I never feel the same happiness playing the flute as these Gopis feel playing the flute. <laughs> Therefore, Krishna was thinking very hard. The Gopis are my Sri Shakti, they are not different than me in every person. How do they experience something which I am not experienced? So even for Krishna, this was a chicken. Yeah. Understand? Sulu so, Shakti should not be any less than Krishna. It should not be different thing. It's not a different thing. But when see Krishna sees the prayer of the gopis, the same of the gopis, even Krishna thinks this is a chicken. What they have that I do not have. And see Radha Pranayama and Yuma and so on. Swadhyo Vina Bhutti Manuya. And even Sri Krishna, when he saw these pastimes of the gopis, he was thinking, what they have that I do not have? What are that prayer? Even though the gopis are not even me, they are my Shrubhashakti, they have something which I do not have. Which about Mahasudha Maharaj gave a nice example of this. Like Paniya. Paneer and Rasgur is the same thing. But Rasgur has something special which is not in the Paneer. If you give someone Paneer and Rasgur, what do you say? Rasgur. Even though Krishna is Paneer, Tapa. And the Gopis also made of Paneer. Still, Krishna is thinking there is something in there which is not in me. What is that? Krishna is thinking, this is impossible. Achitya. Even Krishna and Tapa were meditating when he could not understand. What is there which I do not have? What is that? Radhya's Pranayas or Prema? What is that Prema? I don't understand. It's a chicken. So Krishna thinking also. Mine, isn't it? My beauty makes the whole world mad. But what is my own beauty? I cannot understand. When Sri Krishna saw this reflection in his mind, he saw his reflection. That beauty was so astounding. Even Krishna became unconscious. So if there's something which you cannot understand, what happens? Right? So 
Christian thinking, what is my sweetness? I cannot taste it. How I can taste it? It's a chitya. Can nectar taste itself? It cannot taste itself. And finally, I am Paratakka. I am another scoop. But the gopis taste the happiness billions of times more than I taste. What is that happiness? A chitya. The Guru Maharaj says, I said the better day does not mean it's impossible to understand. You can understand by the Guru Parampara. They were Krishna thinking, what is my Guru Parampara? The gopis are my Guru. Therefore, unless I surrender to them, I cannot understand this achieving time. So Krishna completely surrendered to Radhika, to her mood and her complexion, then in the form of Gauranga Mahapur, he would suddenly understand what is this achieving time. They were the gopis feel no different from Krishna. The gopis did not become Krishna. The gopis always thought, we are gopis, but they became tadatmi with the mood of Sri Krishna. Then when separation reaches highest limit, then there is meeting. And how is it possible? That is a bed. So I remember one time in Deha Kun, many years ago, Sri Kune was describing Oh, the gopis had so much absorption and love for Krishna, they became, uh, they became blackish in complexion. Uh, no, uh, hang on, let me tell you. Guru Maharaj said, the gopis have said, we hear Krishna changing colors, sorry. We hear Radha, Radha Chinta, the Vaishnavi Asakinti, the Lord, the Sri Krishna, Chandra, Mandi, Radha, the Gita, the Guru the Guru Maharaj was a little angry with Pujapatri, Guru Maharaj. Who has the greatest craving? We hear Krishna changing color, changing suit, becoming Mahaprabhu, becoming Radha Guru behind. But we never hear of the gopis changing. When Sutra Guru grab the mic, hey, you've never been to Topi Gopinath. You go to Topi Gopinath, there is a large form of Gopinath, Sachan Mantata Mantata. He turns the mind of Cupid, the chest is very broad, like a grinding stone. Then Gopinath is sitting, admitting his defeat from the bread and gods. That time we conclude that Sri 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 Krishna said, You've never been to talk to Gopinath. There, the on either side is Radha and Lita. And what color are they? Blackest complexion, Radha and also absorbed in plain Then Maharaj said, You've never been to talk to Gopinath. You've never seen black Radha and black Lita. And I remember Guru Maharaj trying to answer, but he could not answer. <laughs> Then many three, four weeks to realize that he's So when Prema reaches its highest stage, there is also no difference, and that is pure conception of and way of sin, as explained by Chakul Bhattana. The understanding of the way is not just the philosophy given a second child. For the other side of Sankaraya also have their conception, but they complete conception according to Tattva according to the pastor or worshiper, and according to the present time, but that complete understanding is given by Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. They were in all our temples, even though Radha and Krishna are there. Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu used to say, Govinda may be there, but Gauranga is not there. He did not feel satisfied. Because Radha is incomplete. Because in Krishna Tattva, Krishna is blue, like a green mango. How do you make the green mango rot? You put it in a hot place on the stove or in the sun and the green mango becomes rot. So when you put that hot light down, hot after in the fire of separation, then he becomes golden ripe mango. Who is the ripe mango? That is Goranga Mahaprabhu. Therefore many people think Radha right? Krishna is the highest type When you examine very carefully in a common way, no, Goranga Mahaprabhu is the deepest type because when Krishna did not finish it, when even Krishna could not understand, that understanding was given in the past times of Gauranga. Sanchadu Rama, Vidhi Bhakti Deke, Swabhakti Siddhanta. But I, when Gauranga is not a Buddha, he is a Yatra, a Rasa, a Maya, a Karma. The first verse, Kaviraj Goswami gives a beautiful description. Who is Krishna? He is the ocean of Siddhanta. He's the ocean of Prema. But when that sun comes on the ocean, the Guru Maharaj said, what type of ocean is Gauranga? He's not a salty ocean. And in that ocean, because Gauranga is an ocean of nectar, but we cannot compare Gauranga completely to an ocean, because an ocean has limits, but Gauranga has no limits. The ocean 